Are you a bully? I don't, well, here, here's what I say, and I've seen the CBC report about uh, people reprisals. Here, here's what I ask the media to do. If I'm a bully, go ask Kevin Parsons, MHA, uh, for Cape St. Francis, how many times he was in my office. Up to three weeks ago, he was in my office, Colin Mayers, working out stuff he needs for Kepler Works. Go ask Kevin Parsons. Go ask Kevin Parsons how many summer jobs I got his students. But what does that have to do with me asking you if you're a bully? But there's no be, how can you be a bully if you're dealing with everybody in the House of Assembly? Well, you can be a bully by yelling at people, by insulting people, by blocking doorways. There's lots of ways to be a bully that aren't sexual. Yeah, yeah but how am I being a bully? This is what I'm saying. This is the point on the CBC uh, part. You gotta let me finish the question. Let me finish, please. Uh, I like to say, go ask Kevin Parsons how many summer jobs I got his students. If that's being a bully, if someone's scared that I'm a bully, go ask uh, Keith Hutchings how many summer jobs I got his students. Go ask Keith Hutchings how many times he's been over, over my office. Go ask Tracy Perry, March 4th. I helped Tracy Perry at a, with a seat down in the district. She sent me, uh, uh, thank you very, ever so much with a smiley face. Is that being a bully with, with people? Like that's the kind of stuff that, that I, I, all of a sudden people say, um, I, I don't have no idea where, where anybody ever said that I was a bully. To your knowledge, has, has Tracy Perry ever made a complaint that you are a bully? Well, Tra Tracy Perry came, uh, and, and we could talk about this, Tracy Perry came uh, to me one day uh, about SEEP, and I said, put it in writing. Then she wrote me a note, and I wrote back. Uh, she wrote me a letter saying disrespectful, things like that. And I wrote back, and I said, look, I asked all images. I got all this in the email. I wrote back and said, look, put it in writing. I'll see, put it. she came back as per your request. She put it in writing. Most of the funding was approved. She came back again. More funding was approved. So, so look, I haven't spoken to Tracy Perry. But to your knowledge, has she written complaints about you being a bully? Not a complaint. She wrote me the saying she didn't like my behavior. But my behavior itself is when I said to her, she came across to my, uh, to, to a part of the floor with me and talked about SEEP. I said, pull in right, as I did every MHA in the house. So that means you have two female MHAs who've complained about your but, bullying. But, she, I never, but just because I, she said that I had put, asked her to put in writing, that's not bullying. Like For me, a bully, if I said to you or anybody else, if I said something, but part about that with the bullying is that I asked her to do the same thing I asked every MHA for her side and their side. That's not bullying. Right. That's following the procedures. She, what she did, she wrote the letter as per your request and she got the funding. Just so she could make wet town, she wanted the funding. So that's not bullying. But I understand, you seem to be arguing so long as you dole out money to MHAs, you're not a bully. Yeah, but it's, how, it's not doling out money. Like, like you're trying to make this a story when it's not a story. How is it bullying when I'm asking, but I, when there's a procedure in place and you're asking every MHA, there was, and there was two witnesses there. There was two witnesses there when I got out of my own seat, got up, walked around out of my own seat, and she chased me in my own seat in the government members, are, and I'm the bully. Miss Perry, you mean? Miss Perry, yes, definitely. Two witnesses. She, and, and hold on, let me finish. Yep. She got the funding, most of the funding she requested. So where does anybody, I, I, I'll, I'll challenge you, ask Tracy Perry, show you one email, one text, that I said anything derogatory. Just okay. Just to you. There's other people that have worked with you in the past uh, who say that you have been a bully to them, and a male person at that. I, I have no idea. Being derogatory about their qualifications, saying that they don't have the qualifications to do a job in the House of Assembly, in meetings. Me? Never, never. I challenge people, I, I'll tell you, call the staff that I deal with the last two and a half years. Go ahead. Do well, that's probably part of the investigation, hey? I, I have no idea. I no, anyway, I've got to get into that. Just one quick last one. To your knowledge, other than Tracy Perry and Ms. Gambin Walsh, have other female MHAs made complaints about you being a bully or harassing them in a non-sexual way? No, not to my knowledge. And the other thing, uh, I didn't know Tracy Perry made a complaint. She wrote me a letter. Uh, I didn't take it as a complaint because it was about SEEP funding. And in the letter that she wrote, it was about SEEP funding that she followed up a week later.